بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر اینڈ دا ٹاپک از وینس ڈینیج آف دا ہارٹ لک موسٹ آف دا بلڈ آف دا ہارٹ از بینگ کلیکٹیڈ بائی مینی وینس ان ٹو ون بگ وینس سائنس وچ لائز ان دا پوسٹیریئر انٹر وینٹیکولر سلکس on the posterior surface in the interventricular circuit this big venous sinus this one this one this is called as the coronary sinus most of the veins of the heart opens into this coronary sinus and then the coronary sinus it opens into the right atrium just to the left of this inferior vena cava You see it over here, look, this is the right atrium and this is the opening of inferior vena cava and this is the small opening of the coronary sinus which after receiving the whole blood and then it opens into the right atrium to drain the blood of the heart, venous blood of the heart. Okay, so this is the big coronary sinus or coronary vein and this coronary sinus drains number one this anterior interventricular vein or also called as the great cardiac vein and number two this posterior interventricular vein or also called as the middle cardiac vein anterior interventricular great cardiac vein and this posterior interventricular or the middle cardiac vein and then the small vein of the heart or the small cardiac vein this one and then lastly then this posterior vein of the left ventricle the posterior vein of the left ventricle and then the anterior veins of the right vertical in this way these four or five fibroteries it opens into the coronary sinus in addition to that there are many other small veins for example the anterior veins of the right ventricle and the venous cordus minimi now i explain all these veins one by one look this anterior interventricular artery and anterior interventricular vein this is great cardiac vein it starts at the apex of the heart on the anterior surface and receiving small veins from the both the ventricles and reaches to this coronary sulcus and reaching this coronary sulcus then this great cardiac vein follows the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery in the coronary sulcus and comes to the posterior surface and coming to the posterior surface you see it ultimately become continuous or become enlarged to make the coronary sinus or becomes continuous with the coronary sinus this is the great cardiac vein or anterior interventricular vein and then the other is the posterior interventricular vein or the middle cardiac vein look this one the posterior interventricular vein or the middle cardiac vein which follows the posterior interventricular artery look this vein also start from the apex and it runs upward in the posterior interventricular groove in the posterior interventricular groove and it ultimately drains or opens into the into the right end of the coronary sinus or the atrial end of the coronary sinus draining the blood from all around the verticals okay and then thirdly is the small cardiac vein look the small cardiac vein look this one this one the small cardiac vein over here this is the right atrium and right ventricle it starts over here this small cardiac vein it starts over here in the coronary sulcus between the right atrium and right ventricle and then it passes in the coronary sulcus and 
at this margin it may receive the right marginal vein so the right marginal vein may be received into this small cardiac vein if it not then the right marginal vein may directly open into the right atrium then then the small cardiac vein it passes posteriorly it passes posteriorly after receiving the right marginal vein it then opens into the coronary sinus okay and then then the posterior vein of the posterior cardiac vein the posterior cardiac vein are posterior vein of the left ventricle look this one the posterior vein of the left ventricle are the posterior cardiac vein which starts on the posterior surface of the left ventricle and receives many veins from all around and then it ultimately enters the coronary sinus okay now in addition to that in addition to these veins then you can see on the anterior surface of the right atrium many anterior veins anterior cardiac veins are arterial veins of the right ventricle and these arterial veins receiving the blood from the anterior surface of the both the atrium and ventricle and it may open into the small cardiac small cardiac vein okay and draining the blood from these areas and lastly don't forget that small small veins which these small small veins which are called as venous cordus minimi are also called as thebesian veins these veins directly bring the blood from the myocardium of the heart and open directly into its own chamber for example opening into the right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle and bringing the blood from the wall of the own chamber and opening through small small foramina into the its own chamber the small small veins venous cordis minimi at the basis for the basis veins it opens into the chambers of the heart through small small foramina and this small small foramina are called as foramina venarum minimarum now these the basal veins are when is called as many 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 are more numerous in the right atrium but they are also present in other chambers of the heart in this way the veins of the heart are the coronary sinus the anterior interventricular vein posterior interventricular vein then the small cardiac vein and then the the cardiac vein of the left posterior vein of the left ventricle and anterior card anterior anterior vein of the right ventricle and then the four of the small small veins are the basal veins this is the venous drainage of the heart okay thank you very much